Okay guys, so you are a lucky owner of X-Way electrical skateboard. Doesn't matter which one you've got. In front of you is the X-Way X1 Max. Okay guys, so the first thing you do is you type in X-Way in your Apple shop. And it comes up with X-Way board or a smart e-scooter. And there is an app x-ray app you can download so this app will be available for android as well but at the moment as you can see it's trying to connect but not yet connecting to the board however the options are exactly the same and this is how it's going to look like on android next step you turn on your remote and your board Make sure they connect to each other and then on the screen of the app you press connect the devices now as soon as you do that it comes up with x-way and that's your ec you want to connect to so you can see straight away the model of your board at the moment as i said before it is x-way x1 max the status it is connected and the firmware and the rest of it is right there so let's go to some of the uh, features that you can have on this app so as soon as you connect to your board uh, the best feature that i found is that the odometer is always on so that means it shows you how many kilometers you have ridden on your board from the time you actually started the board so for starters the safe mode by the way, when you buy this board, and I really like this feature a lot, is the board is restricted to a second gear. That means you cannot go too fast or brake too hard, so you will not fall over. I quite like that. However, you can override this in this app if you want to. So safe mode at the moment is on, and it is restricted to number four speed. That means pretty much no restriction. Standby time. This is if you are powering off your remote, how long would board wait for you to turn EC off? I know that I have it for two hours, so that means within two hours, if you turn the remote off and then turn it back on, within the two hours, the board will just go without touching the button, power button on itself. Change gears while moving. This is when you are riding on the board and you want to change the gear from gear three to four or whatever not while moving if you activate this feature you can do so i do have this on because i like it free mode you can either turn this on or turn this off just by clicking the screen this is when you stop pressing the remote backwards and the board will roll back so it's like having the reverse on your board be careful using this feature it is quite nice however you need to get used to it so after stopping the board will roll back cruise control you can turn this on by clicking the remote twice and you can stay on the speed you've chosen but that needs to be done over 20 kilometers an hour turbo that's a lovely feature right there if you turn the turbo on you will feel massive power increase in your board however that's going to eat up your battery quite a bit so i have this off at the moment because i'm testing the board and board's performance next one is a power system mode because x-ray has a lot of different boards on the market you can either have the hub motors or the riot that's the one with the belt motors so you choose what's required for your application wheel size depending on your board you choose your uh, wheel size so at the moment i'm using 85 hubs and that's where it is at the moment advanced mode you can always go to advanced mode and this is really really cool feature i want to talk to you about it so in here you can increase or decrease percentage of the acceleration of your speed in the first gear second third or fourth because on your remote you can choose any of those gearings brake curve the same thing percentage wise you can adjust your braking which is really really nice you can also go and adjust 
the current of your brake which is very nice as well so that's pretty much for this uh, uh, app you can play around with all these features if you want to however if you get in trouble what you can do you can choose right here in the drop column a default feature and that brings all your readings back to how it was from the factory however you can also have it at custom beginner or race so if you hit the race all of a sudden you'll see that all the curves power curves and current curves will change to race let me just check if the turbo will turn on automatically no it did not so you need to turn the turbo on automatically so i'm going to go back to default because i would like to get as much range of my battery as possible when you finish playing around with all the settings and you're happy with them you just click the save change and exit and this is when all your changes you've made are saved another feature of this uh, particular app for x-ray boards is that you can go to the dash and in the dash it will tell you let's just connect to it quickly It will tell you the statistics of your board at this particular moment. So if you are cruising, you can see the actual speed, your battery level, your EC temperature, your motor temperature, your voltage of the battery, which is really, really nice. So that's pretty much it, guys. You also have the tutorial um, option. I never use this, to be honest with you, but you have the quick start guide and the manuals all on the app which is a really nice feature. Mm, for some reason it's not uploaded at the moment. Quick guide, the protection, the helmets, and the rest of the safety tips. So I do like it quite a bit, to be honest with you. Best part is that it's not the same as having obviously a VESC or VESC-based EC and then changing all the settings. They are more in detail. However, this is as close as you can get if you are a beginner or just an average board user. That's it for the app uh, review, guys. It is really, really nice. I do like it quite a bit. So let me get out from the app at this particular moment. And at this moment, the board will disconnect from the app and now you have the remote itself. So that quickly about the remote, as I said before, you can change your gearings while you're riding if you choose that in option of the app. So at the moment I'm on gear four, that's the fastest one. Gear one, two, three, four. Very nice. You also have the battery uh, uh, of the board percentage and the battery of the remote percentage on the screen. So far I'm happy. I really hope uh, the X-ray will change uh, whatever they need to do with the Android app and it's gonna start working. But that's it. Hopefully you liked the review and now you know how to use this app correctly. Ride safely, build safely and I see you very soon.